with me and we both are going to demonstrate and try to explain the working principle of a Pythagorean cup. Uh, incidentally, we also had something similar in India which we call Vasudeva Pyala. Well, let's go and show it to you. Pratham, thank you. Uh, so this is the cup. Uh, the whole idea was that you could only fill up only so much amount of liquid as was designed uh, and the cup will hold it safe. But the moment you exceed the des designated height of the liquid, the liquid will all spill down. Not only it will spill down to a point where it comes to the designated height, but it will spill it all down and empty the cup. So let's see. Uh, here we go. We try putting in some uh, colored water. And as you can see, nothing leaks so far. It is working just fine. And our designated height is still yellow. And the moment we uh, exceed the height, the liquid starts falling down. And it all goes down. We'll try it see again. Here we go. Nothing falls off as long as we have kept ourselves to the safe limit. Here it is. Nothing is falling off. But the moment we even go a drop more than the safe limit, which is the yellow mark here, you can see the liquid start flowing down. And the liquid won't stop till the cup is again empty. Oh, isn't that a miracle? You would assume that it will at least stop when it reaches the yellow mark again, but it does not. Well, let's try, thank you, Pratham. Well, let's try going and explaining the Pythagoras cup. Here, what I've drawn is a cross section of the cup, and it basically works on two physics basic principle. One is the Pascal's law and another is the siphon effect. The Pascal's law in short is basically uh, liquids take the same level across any shape or size of container as long as they are the same level. Okay, uh, That's Pascal's law. And the siphon effect is when you pull down on a liquid no matter what altitude is and create a vacuum the liquid will start flowing through it and this is uh, well seen in water pumps or when you have to bring in water from uh, or when you have to take out petrol from your car or your motorcycle and you put a tube in and you suck it out it will all come through gravity. The whole idea is uh, liquids assume the same level no matter what the containers are and the siphon effect when the gravitational potential energy of a liquid column is higher than of another liquid column the liquid will start flowing down from the higher column to the lower column okay so here is the cross section of the pythagoras cup uh, this shaded areas or the hatched areas as we like to call it are solid and then there is this tube through the pipe here which is hollow and has a small orifice here which is an opening as we fill the liquid up to this level, you, the, the liquid will also go through this tube and occupy the space in all here. And nothing falls because uh, the, the Pascal's law is holding true. But if you demonstrate more greed and try to shoot this height above here, so let me just take a little bit of chalk and <clears throat> show it. So if I had to fill the liquid, let's say till here, which is excess liquid, What's going to do is this much amount of liquid is going to exert a gravitational potential force on the liquid that's already in this column here and then the liquid will start flowing down. Now, so that explains why the liquid starts to flow down but then why does not the liquid stop when the level in the glass comes to here? Well, that's where the siphon effect comes into play as when the liquid has started flowing down due to the surface tension and due to the gravitational pull if this stop, then there will be a vacuum created here which won't allow it because there is atmospheric pressure acting on this side and the low pressure here is resulting in the liquid constantly flowing down till it all goes out. And that my friends is the Pythagoras cup. I hope you liked the video. Please click like down there and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.